Greetings, everyone. Uh, welcome to Art 110 for this term. I'm your instructor, Mike Adams. An overarching question we're going to ask ourselves is what art really is. For instance, how do we know that Mona Lisa here is actually art? I mean, this is just a reproduction on a screen. Um, this isn't the real painting. And who gets to decide what art actually is? People tend to claim to love art, and yet we find a lot of variation in the kinds of art that people actually like. In the final chapter of our textbook, we'll approach a topic called iconoclasm, and that's the destruction of art. You'll find that people, just as often as they say they love art, often want to suppress someone else's version of art. So I promise this whole class will not use uh, language like this, but I did just finish a PhD program where this philosopher was a major um, factor. So here's a quote for you. The artist is the origin of the work, meaning work of art. The work is the origin of the artist. Neither is without the other. Nevertheless, neither is the sole support of the other. In themselves and in their interrelations, artist and work are each of them by virtue of a third thing which is prior to both, namely that which also gives artist and work of art their names, art. So if you can figure this out on the first go around, I applaud you. This quote is from Martin Heidegger uh, from about 1935, and I'll talk about this a little more in the following slides. My interpretation of the preceding quote is that Heidegger means that you can't have a concept of art without also having artists who create works of art. Later on in the same essay that this quote is from, Heidegger introduces the idea of the preserver or viewer of the work of art. So he isn't excluding us as viewers from this concept of art. So Heidegger's point is, at least I think so, and certainly my point is that you can't really study art or think about the concept of art without thinking about this interrelation of art, artist, viewer, and work of art. We're all in there together. There really can't be art without these other things. And one aspect of this sort of wheel that I've created here visually can't exist without those other things. So a little bit about me. I have a BFA in painting from the San Francisco Art Institute in 1986, an MFA in sculpture from Idaho State University in Pocatello, Idaho from 2011, a PhD in visual arts, philosophy, aesthetics, and art theory from a school called the Institute for Doctoral Studies in the Visual Arts, which is located in Portland, Maine although it was a low residency program where we met in uh, various destinations around the world. I got that degree in 2022, just a couple of years ago, last year. And I also had a Fulbright Creative Arts grant to Norway for the academic year 2011-2012 and did a project at the Viking Ship Museum, which I'll show you in just a moment. And I also teach ceramics, art history, art appreciation, and philosophy at the college level. Here's an image of the sculptural installation I did at the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo in 2012. This was made out of fabric with video projections. Here's another view. Here's another shot that shows the folding nature. This sculpture didn't actually fold up. But the idea is that it's based on Skid Gladner, the folding ship of the Norse gods. One of the art media that I started using when I was in Norway uh, is ceramics, and I've continued to do that to this day and have a potter's wheel and a kiln in my home studio. So that's a little overview of me and the course. And Again, I'm really glad you can join me for this term. I'm looking forward to it.
Thanks for watching this brief introduction to me and a little sort of trailer for the uh, concept behind this course. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started.